kayak corner. Not found one, it's just not going to happen. But anyway, I just want to tell you guys what I've been up to so far today and what we're going to be doing. So, I was meant to be seeing a friend today for lunch. We're going to go to Chinatown. But unfortunately, she's got the flu. There's a really bad flu going around. So when I woke up this morning, I went downstairs to find my mum is on the verge of it. And that is not good because she is like the hostess with the mostest and makes the whole Christmas dinner for us. And we're only a few days away from Christmas now. So that is detrimental to our food in our tummies. So I put her on the couch, well, she's kind of already on the couch. And I decided to make us a ginger shot and then a juice because I myself was feeling a bit sluggish after quite a few days or weeks of way too much sugar. Okay, so I've just sliced up this much ginger. It's for the two of us, quite a lot of ginger there. Um, as you can see, that's what it looks sliced, fresh ginger. It smells really nice. So the benefits of ginger are apparently it can help, you know, fight off infection, which is why we're having it to prevent the flu. Um, and then also it's really good for things like um, morning sickness. That's a pretty well known cause for ginger. Apparently it can help with menstrual pains. Apparently it can help, like there's properties in it that can help um, stop cancer forming. All of these things obviously are like alternative medicine. So it's always good to do your own research. But yeah, just gonna put about a handful of ginger in. The juicer and then I'm probably gonna put three apples just so that it's not so sharp so I'm just gonna start off by putting in a couple bits of apple and this is what you call a um, slow juicer um, so basically one end here gathers all of the like pulp and then this end gathers the juice okay so that's how it's come out as you can see I just used a sieve to pour it into the glass and um, this is quite a big shot actually, me and my mum both have the same size but we don't want to be, uh, well I definitely don't want to get ill this Christmas I've managed to avoid illness all winter which is a first for me in many many years and I need to get my mum better for Christmas so yeah we're going to enjoy this now Then I was intending to go to the gym but then I kind of realised that by the time I got out with you guys it was going to be dark and you wouldn't be able to see much because it gets dark really early here in the winter so what I've decided is we are now in central London. As always, we're gonna pop into Liberty. If you guys are bored of Liberty, let me know in the comments below and I will stop vlogging when I go there, but I can't help it, I have to go there. If I'm in central London, I just have to pop in. So I'm gonna have a little look around at the perfumes. I might try to see if I can get a couple of samples and show you guys what samples I get. And then we're gonna be going into Soho area and I'm gonna show you my favorite magazine shops because I've been feeling a bit uninspired, especially with the vlogs. Like I'm 21 <laughs> days into uploading every day for Vlogmas and I'm definitely starting to feel a little bit inspired so I need to be re-inspired I might do a video on how I get inspired later on um, in the week like in a couple days or so or maybe next week um, but something that really helps is magazines but I'll go into more detail of how I get inspired in that video but today I'm just going to show you some bits that you've seen before and some bits you haven't seen before so yeah let's go later because I want to have a look at their knitwear. I really want like a really nice grey jumper so we'll see what we can find. Today I'm wearing Gypsy Water by Byredo. It's one of my favourite fragrances which all of my fragrances are my favourites in different ways but it reminds me of New York because I got it just before we went to New York a couple years ago and it's so nice. It's like a really sweet musky vanilla and it's got berries in it as well and also cedarwood I think. Um, it's a really nice fragrance. I think Gypsy Water is probably my favourite by Rido. So yesterday I smelt Dirty Velvet, which is the new Wilhelm um, perfumery scent. I really, really like it. I don't know how I feel about fig fragrances yet. I think this might be the kind of thing I need to try again. Okay, I've seriously got issues. I just bought Gypsy Water body wash because I'm wearing it today and it just reminded me how good it smells. So that's a nice little treat for me. Okay, I've made a swift exit. Here's Carnaby Street for you guys. We're gonna make our way into Soho now um, and I'm gonna finish telling you about that Dirty Velvet perfume I tried because the guy who was at the counter came over and I got all shy vlogging. Okay, so basically with um, Dirty Velvet, like I said, I'm not sure how I feel about fig fragrances yet. I feel like that's quite a new um, note for me to be trying um, in terms of fragrance and sometimes I like it and sometimes I love it and sometimes I'm just not sure. 
But the other notes that are in Dirty Velvet are cedarwood, patchouli, fig and coconut. Yeah, that's what it is. So I tried it on yesterday and at first I loved it, then I was kind of on the fence. By the end of the evening I really, really liked it. The fig and the coconut were really coming through, um, so it made it quite sweet. But I feel like it was quite a different scent. It's not something I would say smells like something else. It's definitely a different one. Um, but I think it might be something I need to try a couple of times to see how I really feel about it. And then today I tried on Stockholm, I think it's 1978 or something like that by Wilhelm Perfumery as well. And I like it. It kind of smells like, you know those um, lilac, no, what are they called? The sweets, violets, lilac. Like, it's got like a sweets, like edible sweets. I'm not sure which one, but it's kind of got that kind of scent to it. I'm gonna insert the notes of that perfume along like here, because I'm not, I can't put my finger on it, but I do quite like it. Apparently it's for someone who wants to be quite fresh. And I would say it's fresh, but it's also very warm. It's a really nice scent. I think I definitely, in the new year, need to explore Wilhelm perfumery much more because I really like a few of their scents. So I need to start trying them on the skin and see how I like them. Okay, so first up is, oh my God, I can't believe it. This like Hummer limousine is completely ruining my shot. But first up on the magazine shops is The Week. It's on Berwick Street and um, on the corner of Broadwick Street. And it's quite a small one, but they have a really good selection in there. And you can even see in the front window. If I zoom in. Yeah, you can see there, they've got some really, really hard to find magazines. So we're gonna go in and look around. So the week is just full head to toe of magazines. So you've got the like, lifestyle ones here. I think a lot of these are men's ones. They've got Blogosphere up there as well. If you're a blogger that might be good to read. And then just at the front here they've got like travel and fashion magazines. I think this one looks quite cool. If any of you have any magazine recommendations let me know. And then the main wall is just loads of fashion magazines from all over the world as well. Okay next up is on Wardour Street and it's Wardour News. That's one of my personal favourites. I'm going to take you guys inside now, although they're very strict on no photos or filming in there. So let's see what I can do. So in the window they have a lot of cereal displayed. Alan loves cereal magazine um, and they do really, really good city guides. So we based everywhere we went in Copenhagen off of the cereal Copenhagen city guide. So Wardour News is good because they have all the different country issues of Vogue. So there's Vogue Italy over there. Over here they've got... What country is that? Russia? Spain? So these are the city guides I was telling you about. They're really good. Just flicking through the New York city guide. I'm kind of tempted to get Alan this as a little extra Christmas present. I mean, really it's a present for us both because we're going to New York next year. But this could be really, really fun for us to flick through and plan our trip for next year, do some new things. So I think I'm also going to get the London copy just because next year I'm planning on doing loads of city guides for you guys of London and this can help me find some new places to go. Okay, so so far I'm having quite a successful day. Um, found some goodies, <coughs> but it kind of looks like it's going to rain. It feels like it might rain as well. So I'm going to speed walk to Covent Garden and show you one more stop for really great magazines and books and then I might have to call it a day. Oh, actually no, I'm going to go to Zara and then I'll call it a day. Also guys, I won't be showing you today because I'm kind of walking away from that direction now just to show you another like individual standalone shop. But Selfridges have amazing selection of magazines. Like probably one of the best in London actually. It ranges from like European or international fashion magazines. Then you also have like alternative magazines. They've got men's magazines, car magazines, travel magazines, food magazines. They've even got like um, media and advertising magazines which I love flipping through so their selection is huge there. I'm currently just walking down Dean Street I just want to show you guys if you are in the like Soho, Covent Garden, Chinatown, Regent Street any of those areas it's really easy to get here um, so it's just Dean Street the whole way down the street there's loads of really nice restaurants um, that have really good food so if you want to end up somewhere that does do good food Dean Street's a good place and there's so, such a variety of food here as you can see it's looking really miserable. I think it's only like 2.30. It looks like it's about to get dark. Let's see what's the time. 
Hmm, it's 2.39. So yeah, it's 2.40 basically, guys. And this is what we're working with. Very, very grey. Okay, for any of you Harry Potter fans, this is the theatre that they're showing the cursed child in. You can see it's very, very old-fashioned. I think it's one of the biggest theatres in the West End. So I'm about to head down there, which is one of the Seven Dials. Um, if you missed my London Christmas lights video, I'll link it down below um, because you would have seen what that looked like at night time. Here's what it looks like in the day. I'm going to take you guys down there now. So this shop looks pretty cool. It's called Beast and it's basically just got loads of kind of niche looking fragrances, body washes, hair products, shaving products in there. That's what it looks like. And it's just off of the road of Seven Dials of um, Earlham Street. <coughs> so that looks cool. I'm probably going to have to take Alan there. I think he'd really like it in there. Um, but I'm just approaching the little roundabout of Seven Dials. So it's pretty self explanatory. It's seven little tiny roads all going off of this one roundabout. And there's Matilda. So we need to go, I think, down that one there to get to Magma, which is the um, next magazine shop I'm going to show you. Okay, we're just approaching Magma. So they've moved location. They used to be in a smaller shop further up Short Street, whereas now they're quite far down Short Street. So yeah, let's go inside. They've got all different kind of stationery, books, and then downstairs magazines. So this is a nice little shop. CR is one of my favourite magazines. It's by Corinne Rothfeld, who used to be the, um, I guess, like the creative director for Vogue Paris. She made her own magazine, which is CR. It's this one here. But I've just seen they've brought out a men's issue. That's really cool. It's issue number three, so it's quite a new thing. So if you are a man watching and you want to read a really cool fashion magazine, CR is one of my favourites. There's Rihanna on this issue's cover. It's only on issue 9. Um, I think it comes out bi annually. It's one of my favourite magazines though. Zara and in the perfect timing because I just felt a raindrop. That is not good. Guys, this is my coat. I'm hoping you can hear me. There's loud music in here. But look, this is what the original buttons on the coat look like. I changed it to silver buttons. I changed it to silver buttons, which is why it looks a bit different. But that is my one. I'll link it below if you guys like it. Right guys, I think I'm gonna call it a day now. Just gonna head home. I'm getting quite hungry. It's only like four o'clock, but I'm really hungry. Um, but yeah, I'm just on the strand waiting for my bus. I picked up a grey sweater in Zara. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it or return it. Let me show you. It's a really, really nice shade of grey, and it's kind of got like a high neckline and then back wing sleeves. I like the neckline a lot. I'm just not sure about the back wing sleeves. So I'm gonna try it on with a couple of outfits at home and see how I feel about it. So we'll see if I keep that or not. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me today. Um, I'll be doing another video tomorrow. I'm not sure what I'm doing tomorrow yet, but come back anyway because I'm uploading every day till Christmas. And on Christmas day, I might have a giveaway for you guys as well. So stay tuned for that. 